Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In this video, you're gonna learn how to crochet this really cute Beetlejuice inspired skirt. Oh, and if you wanna learn how to crochet the top, I've already got that video made and I'll put the link in the description below. Thanks everyone. First thing you need to do um, for making this Beetlejuice inspired skirt is you need to take some measurements. So you need to measure around your hip area. And um, for some easy math, let's say that um, your hip area is 40 inches around. So you're going to divide that by four. So that would make each granny square here um, 10 inches each. Is so that's what you would need if um, you were uh, making this 40 inches total would you you would need a 10 inches each so whatever your measurement comes out to just divide that by four and that is how big you need your granny squares just using the red heart super saver yarn so this I'm using white and I have black so just basic colors there white and black and then I have the spring green and again this is all just red heart super saver yarn and you could um you know acrylic yarn is okay for clothes but some people really prefer um, cotton yarn so you could definitely use cotton yarn and just make it to the measurements that you would make yourself all right so i'm going to start making a magic ring and i'm using a five millimeter crochet hook and this one i just got for dollar tree so we're going to see how we like our dollar tree crochet hook is only dollar 25 so pretty cheap and it seems comfortable so far so i'm going to chain three and then i'm going to work around my magic ring here so i'm going to do And I'm going to ignore that chain three actually. So there's one, two, three double crochets. I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to make a cluster of three double crochets. And my goal here is to have um, four total clusters of double crochets. So if you don't know how to make a basic granny square, I have a video on that and I will try to remember to link that up top. And I also try to remember to link up um, how to make a magic ring just in case you don't know how to do that. So I'm chaining two. I'm gonna make another cluster of double crochets. If you guys are liking this video, make sure you subscribe now. I would really appreciate it. I'm gonna chain two more. And make another cluster of double crochets. And I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to connect it with that first double crochet I made. So here, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my magic ring tight. So you can see right here how it's pulled tight. And now I'm going to Look at this, I'm gonna say there's one, two, three. So I'm gonna connect it to the top, this one right here. Okay, now from here, I'm going to chain one, two, three, again. Let me pull that tight. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn it so I work into these squares here. So I'm going to do three, so one, two, three double crochets in that, that chain two space. I'm going to chain two, so one, two. I'm going to work three more double crochets into that same chain two space, so one, two, three. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go over to this next space, this next chain two space. And this is a corner space here. So each corner space you'll be doing the cluster of three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochets in that cluster. So I'm going to do the same thing again. So three double crochets, chain two, three and another three double crochets. I'm 
I'm going to repeat that all the way around. So I'm going to chain one again, and I'm at the corner again, so I'm just going to do my cluster again of three double crochets. Chain two, and three more double crochets. Chain one, and then go to that next corner and do three double crochets. Chain two, and do three more double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to slip stitch in the top of that first double crochet that I made. And then I'm going to tie my white off, so I'm just going to cut this yarn here, and pull it through to tie it off. The worst thing about all of this is um, all the ends that you have. So here I have my first little square there. So now I'm just going to continue on and you could decide to go ahead and work these in right now. It's probably a little bit better than um, not working them in now, but you know. I This is like my least favorite part of crocheting is working all the loose ends in. I'm going to work it in just a little bit right now. That way it's not so bad later. Let me just kind of pull it through there. If I had left it a little bit longer, I could use my um, yarn needle to work it in, but I didn't. Just want to still make sure it has a little stretch to it there, though. Alright, so that's worked in pretty well there. So now if I wanted to, I could just take out my uh, measuring here, measuring tool, and measure this. So it is about, it's almost three inches long, so that tells you for eight that I'm going to need a f quite a few rows here. Alright, so now I'm going to color change to the black. So I'm just going to start in one of the corners, and I'm going to do basically the same thing as before. So I'm going to do three double crochets to start with and then, or I mean three single crochets to start with and I'm going to do three double crochets. So one, two, three. So now I'm not going to put complete all of it. I'm going to complete it at the end. So I'm going to chain one then I'm going to do three double crochets in that middle kind of stitch right there. So there's one, two, three. I'm going to chain one again and do three double crochets here. Two, three. I'm going to chain two because this is a corner, and then I'm going to do three more double crochets. Three. And I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to work three double crochets here in that next one chain space. So one, two, three. I'm going to chain one again. And I'm going to do my cluster here, so I'm going to work three double crochets. One, two, three. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to work three more double crochets. One, two, three. I'm going to chain one again. I'm going to work three double crochets. One. I'm going to chain one again. And then I'm going to do my cluster here. So the three in the corner, because this is another corner. So three double crochets. Two. 
I'm going to chain two. Then I'm going to work three more double crochets. Chain one. I'm going to work three double crochets into that chain one space from the last row. I'm going to chain one again. And now I'm at that first corner that I started in. So here I'm going to do three double crochets. So one, two, three. I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to go into the top of that first double crochet I made. So it's not the chain three, it's the first double crochet. To me, it just makes it look neater. I don't like working into the tops of my single crochets. So connect to that one, slip stitch right into there. And so now I've completed one row of the black. So now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to chain three. So one, two, Three. and I don't know how other people do this this is just how I do it I like to turn it because it to me it looks not quite as um, messy when you do it that way so now I'm going to go ahead and work my cluster so I'm going to do the three double crochets one two three I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do another three double crochets for that corner I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to do this all over again. So I'm going to do three double crochets in that chain one spot. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do another three double crochets in the next chain one spot. Chain one again, and do another three. Double crochets, chain two and three double crochets because this is the corner. Okay, I'm going to chain one again. I'm going to do three double crochets in that chain one spot. I'm going to chain one again and go to the next chain one spot and do three double crochets in that next. Chain one spot, chain one again, then go to the next chain two spot and do my cluster of three double crochets, chain two and another three double crochets. Chain one again and do you go to my next chain one spot and do a cluster of three double crochets chain one again and go to the next chain one spot and do my cluster of three double crochets and chain one again and go to my chain two spot and do my cluster of three double crochets chain two and another three double crochets Chain one again, then go to my chain one spot and do my cluster of three double crochets. Do chain one and go to my next chain one spot and do my cluster of three double crochets. And chain one, then I'm going to go to that first. Um, double crochet that I made so I'm going to skip over that chain three go to that first double crochet that I made I'm just going to slip stitch in the top of that again to me it just makes it look cleaner I don't like um, slip stitching into the top of that um, chain three space so I'm just going to cut that off and I left this one a little bit longer so I could grab a yarn needle wherever I put it there it is and kind of work this in like that. That'll make it a little bit easier for me. So, and again, I do not love doing the um, working everything in, so it's probably better for me to do it now than to wait. And so here with the yarn, you know, it makes it easier just to kind of go down 
through the stitches also so it's all worked in nicely. So you just kind of do it all kinds of wonky ways so it sets right. But what I'm going to do too is, I don't know, I always like tying it off because to me, I'm like, oh, what if it comes undone? So I'm going to go ahead and tie it off also really well. And sometimes if I'm really afraid it's going to come undone, I'll even put just a little bit of um, fabric glue on it right on the knot so that I'm uh, really sure that it won't come undone. And fabric glue is a little bit softer than regular glue. That's why it's good to use fabric glue if you're going to do it like that. And so here again, I'm just going to kind of work this through here. And um, before you work this one in, make sure this is the size you want it. You may want to pull it again just to make 100% sure this is the right size that you want um, your hole in the middle to be because this is the one that controls that. So here I'm just working this in all kinds of wonky ways. And really that's kind of what you do, just go back and forth, work it in, go back over itself again. So work it in where you've already worked it in at. Just kind of go back and forth there until you get it. And now you can pretty much just cut it and you'll be fine there. And if you kind of work it like that, you'll just kind of get it. Okay, so let's measure again. Not that this is the right size obviously, but we're going to measure. So this is about five inches now. So we're gonna change back to the white. So again, I'm going to start in um, one of these corners here, and it doesn't really matter which corner, whatever corner you wanna start in. So, and I'm gonna repeat this pattern. I'm just gonna repeat this pattern over and over and over again until I get to the size that I want. So again, you're going to do, on this one, you're going to do three double crochets in a corner spot. And then you're going to chain one and you're going to do three double crochets in each of these chain one spaces. And then when you get to the corner again, you're going to do three double crochets, chain two and three double crochets. And you're just going to repeat that all the way around. All right, so I'm going to chain two now. So I did three double crochets in that last one, chain two, and now I'm going to connect to the top of that first um, three double crochets that I made. So I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of that. Then I'm going to chain three, and I'm going to turn. So this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my cluster. Go ahead and just do my cluster. So there's in that corner, so three double crochets. I'm going to chain two and I'm going to do three more double crochets. 
I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do three double crochets in the next stitch. And I'm just going to repeat that all the way around again. Every time I get to a chain one spot, I'm going to do a cluster of three double crochets and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to move to the next one and just repeat that until I get to the corners and then on the corners I'm going to do my cluster of um, three double crochets chain two and then three double crochets and I'm going to continue that all the way around until I get back to the first one that I made And by the way, I'm making sure that I don't crochet too tight here, just for the whole thing. Alright, so I'm chain one and then I'm going to again slip stitch in the top of that first double crochet that I made. And I'm going to cut my yarn. Pull it through. I'm going to go ahead and weave in the end again because that's my least favorite part. So let's see about how big we have it now. So we've got about, okay, we've got about seven and a half inches. I'd really like to do two more black, but I don't know that we'll get two more black. So let's, um, let's go ahead and do one more black and just kind of see where we are at with this. Of course we're going to have a top and bottom border so this is not going to be like um, completely the finished um, look here. So just so you know. And also um, you know just whatever size you need it to be just keep on going with the pattern that we've been going in until you get it to the size that you need. So again I'm going to start in the corner here and I'm just going to chain three, that again. Then I'm going to do the half like I did before, so I'm going to do three double crochets. You know, in reality, I guess you could start wherever you wanted to. I always start in the corners. I'm not real sure, like, why I always start in the corner. That's just kind of what I do, but literally, I think you could start any of these holes and you would just be absolutely fine. So again, I'm just doing my clusters of three double crochets in chaining one until I get to the um, corners. And when I get to the corner, I am doing a um, three double crochets, chain two, and then three double crochets. And I'm just keep on doing that all the way around.
Okay, now I'm chaining two. Now I'm going to connect to the top of that first double crochet that I made. Whoops. Lay it flat. So now I'm going to measure this and see where we are at. So we are a little bit more than eight, which is, that's fine. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I need to make the top and bottom a little bit longer because obviously this is definitely not going to be long enough for me or my model um, wearing a skirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut this off here um, and start in that corner there. So I'm just going to... Alright, so here I'm just going to... Um, this going to kind of work these in just a little bit here. Okay, so you can make this as long as you want. So I'm just gonna start adding on the top and the bottom here. So you can make yours, so let's just say I wanted this to be a total of 12 inches and it is eight inches um, right now. So I want to add a couple more, at least another inch on the top and another inch on the bottom. And then I'm gonna leave an inch for the border on the top and bottom also. So I'm just gonna to connect to one of my corners here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my black. And I'm going to do my um, chain three, like I've been doing. And I'm going to do my three double crochets. I'm gonna chain one, and I'm gonna go over to the next and do three more double crochets. And I'm going to do that all the way to the end. Chain one, go to that corner, do three double crochets. Alright, so see you have some added to the top. I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn. that side and I could go ahead and just do um, more black if I wanted to on the other side so maybe I'll go ahead and pick up the other side and do one more black here so let me start at the corner again And let me see how long this actually is, because I may want to add another row now. So this is nine, so I am definitely going to have to add. Um, and I really like the black and white switch is my issue, so I may have to do like one more row of white and then one more row of black. But we'll see. 
Well, maybe not. We'll see what we're going to do here. So here, what I'm going to do so I can make this even is I'm going to just chain three and I'm going to slip stitch down here. That way I have a place to work into for this one. That one, other one, I didn't do that, but that's okay. We're going to um, just go with it. Because I'm really not wanting to do any increases here, you see. So now I'm just going to this in and then like you could do something where you do like the next one you start with black and then you end with white in the middle so you could mix it up a little bit so they're not exactly the same on each one that would be really really cute I think that's actually what I'm going to do for the next one so for the next one I'm going to um, reverse the coloring basically is what I'm saying so let me pull that through better to white so I'm just gonna start it and again this I'll cut off a bit more later so I'm gonna start it here and these kind of you can bunch them up as needed but we're this is we're gonna make an edge so this is gonna work out fine for the edge so I'm gonna start here I'm going to chain three again like I've been doing And I'm going to do my three double crochet. Chain one, three double crochets. working that space I made here I didn't make a space on the one uh, the one on the bottom but we will uh, improvise okay so here I've got right there so let's see what we have here so we have almost 10 right now so I'm just going to and if you needed to um, I'm just going to tie this off, but if you needed to continue on, you would just continue on like I've been doing. So the um, so you would do the chain three that goes down and work into that space that it makes there if you were going to continue on. So I should have left that a little bit longer, but I didn't. I say that on every one, don't I? So here I'm just going to weave this in. going to start actually in this little corner right here and I'm just going to do um, three in that corner there. So I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to do three double crochets. So now I'm going to remeasure this guy here. See what it comes out to. It's getting pretty long now. 
so this comes out to a little more than 10 so that's pretty much where I want it so I'm going to go ahead cut my yarn off weave in the ends again and so I'm going to make one more that looks just like this and then after that I'm going to invert the color so I'm going to make the middle black white black white so I'm going to invert the colors I'm going to make two like that and two like this so one will be back so two will be back and two will be front and they're going to be like mixed colors so I will show you that all right so now we're going to make a total of three more that look like this except again I'm inverting my colors on two of them so one more that looks exactly like this and then two more that has that you start with black and then you do white and you go out from there all right, so I have um, to this point on my all my pieces made. So I um, have one where I started with the black in the middle, or two where I started with the black in the middle, and two where I started with the white in the middle. So now the ones with the white in the middle, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to go ahead and attach my yarn right to the edge right here. So you see this edge here? So like the last, actually the last little stitch right here is where I'm attaching my yarn. My dog does not think it can cross like the little threshold here, but it can. So that's why she's whining. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to half, I'm going to chain one actually, and I'm going to half double crochet all the way down. I'm just going to kind of do it where it makes sense here. So I'm going to do one in that corner there. And I haven't, I'm not counting them at all. So um, you can if you want to. It would be smart to do the same amount on both sides. But I, I'm not counting them. So just in the double crochet areas, you could probably do two half double crochets in those areas. And you're going to do one in the chain one space and then one in each single crochet all the way, or in the top of those double crochets, sorry. So one in the top of those double crochets all the way across, and then one in that chain one space. So really you're just evening the color out here and evening that side out. You know, I think I'm liking the Dollar Tree hooks. That's kind of nice. For $1.25, it's really working pretty good. I worked my end in that one, so it's kind of hard to get to. And just kind of work down this now. A couple in the double crochet across. Then you're just going to slip stitch to that first one right here. Just kind of in that space right there. And then I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to fasten this off. Just pull that close and now I'm going to go to the other side. So there's probably a different way I could have done this, but you know, this is the way I decided to do it. So again, same thing, I'm just attaching the yarn here. I'm going to chain one. And then I'm going to half double crochet right here in the stitch I just attached to. And then I'm going to again half double crochet all the way down and I'm not bothering counting my stitches but it's probably a smart thing to do if you want to count yours.
So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab um, the other one, the one that has the black outline, and I'm going to do the same thing that I did with the white with the black. So I'm just going to attach it to a corner here. So the, uh, the very, very top there, attach it there. I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to do half double crochets here, again, all the way down. going to slip stitch to that first one on top and you're going to cut your yarn and then do the other side. So same exact thing you did before. All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to decide which side's your wrong side and which side's your right side. So this is my wrong side because this is the side I've been making the knots on. So let's see here about this one, which is, ah, this is my wrong side on this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two ends together and I'm going to get my green yarn now. So I'm going to attach my green yarn here at a corner. So I'll just go right back into that upper corner there, and then I'm going to attach my, or I'm going to put my hook right there at that corner, I should say, and actually not in that stitch right there. I'm going to go actually in this top stitch right here is where I'm going to do it, and then same thing with the black. I'm going to put my hook now through the black. Again, I'm going to go in that kind of top stitch right there, and then I'm going to take my green, and I'm just going to put my green in the middle towards the back. I'm going to pull it through both and now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to half double crochet all the way around, all the way down, just doing what I just did. So I'm going to put my hook in the next on the white and then on the next on the black. So through both here and I'm going to pull it through and I'm going to do my half double crochet. And I'm going to do that with all these stitches all the way down. And it should be pretty easy to line up your stitches. Now, again, I didn't count mine, so I may not have the exact same number of stitches, and I'm okay with that. So if you don't have the exact same number of stitches, you can kind of just fudge it a little bit. And that's what I'm going to do if mine doesn't line up exactly perfect. Looks like I may have a, one more white than I need. So I'm just going to put that in the same stitch as before and just keep working my way on down. I'm going to work into that last stitch right there. 
and you're just gonna chain one and then fasten the green off. All right, so now that we've connected the two, I like the little stripe that goes in the middle. I think that's super cute. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to attach my yarn to one of these ends and I'm gonna single crochet all the way around. And when I get to um, like the chain two spot, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do two single crochets in each of those chain two spots. And then I'm just gonna do one single crochet in each of the double crochets and then one single crochet in the middle of these. I'm gonna actually end up attaching my yarn right here into that chain two spot. I'm going to chain one, I'm going to do chain two, or I mean two single crochets here in that chain two spot. Then I'm going to do one single crochet in each of these. Single crochet in the chain one spot. All right, guys, so I uh, forgot to push record earlier, so but I'm pretty much at the same spot on um, the other side that I was on um, this side when I pushed stop earlier because of the light. So the light's better now. So what I'm doing is I'm just going again and doing single crochets all the way down here. All right, and then when I get to this corner stitch here, I'm just going to work into this next one here, and I'm going to go over to this next one. So I'm going to skip the green here and go over to the next black stitch, and I'm just going to continue my single crochet right like that, um, all the way down again, and then when I get to this other corner, so when I get to this corner right here, I'm going to do three, um, sing or two single crochets actually, sorry, into that corner there. It's a nice spot to see the sunset from, though, while you're working. Yeah, it is. It's pretty. Yeah, see? So that's nice. Can you hear that on camera? <laughs> yeah. Now that I'm at um, the corner here, I'm just going to do two single crochets in that corner piece there. And I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to go all the way down now, just doing single crochets. Now I'm at the where I started, so I'm just going to slip stitch right here to that first single crochet that I made. And then from here, I'm going to turn it again. And I'm going to, I want the waist, so this is going to be the waist part, but I want the waist to have some decreases in it. Take this next stitch, and the first thing I'm going to do is a single crochet decrease. If you don't know how to do that, I'll um, try to remember to link that video above here, so it's in the right-hand corner there. So I'm going to do one decrease. 
And then I'm going to do five single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to do another single crochet decrease. And then another five single crochets. And I'm just going to repeat that all the way down. So that's four here, so the last one I'm just going to go ahead and do another decrease right here. And then I'm going to chain six now. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this and I'm going to work single crochets down this chain. So there will be five single crochets starting from the second chain from the hook. So just do one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so now that I've done my five here, I'm going to just slip stitch into this second right here, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the next and then I'm going to turn it and I'm going to work in this back loop so this is the front loop here so if you can see the front loop here you see there's two loops on top here so I'm going to work in this back loop and I'm going to do single crochets in this back loop and there will be five so Oops. One, two, three, oops, four, five. Okay, and then I'm going to do one single crochet, and then I'm going to turn, and then again I'm going to work in that back loop. So I'm just going to do one single crochet in each back loop. So one. Two, three, four, one more is five. So then again, I'm going to slip stitch right into the next two stitches. So there's one, and there's two stitches I slip stitched in. Now I'm going to turn it yet again. And again, if you don't want your waist smaller, by the way, you don't have to make those decreases that we did earlier. So again, I'm going to work into these five. So single crochet into the back loop of those five. So one. Five. Now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to turn again. And again, I'm just going to single crochet down the chain. Working in that back loop only. I'm going to work back up that. So you see how it makes that kind of gathered rib look there? That's what I'm going for. So I'm going to do this, continue to do this all the way down to the end. So I will meet you back there, guys. All right, so now I'm at my last one. So I'm going to, again, just, um, gosh, my brain is not working. 
slip stitch into that next stitch and maybe even like a little bit of this corner here that's not really what I want to do so really what we need to do how we need to end up with this is we need to end up at the top so whatever you have to do to end up at the very top so this top right here so I'm going to pull my chair up so I can sit better now I'm just going to do the same thing I've been doing and single crochet all the way up alright so now that I'm at the top I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn so let me turn now there I'm turned and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work a single crochet in these first two stitches so I'm going to go down the side again so single crochet in the first two stitches now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to skip one and I'm going to do one single crochet in each of the next three stitches so one two let me turn this so I can see the stitch three and again I'm going to chain one I'm going to skip one stitch, so that stitch is right here, and I'm going to single crochet in the next three stitches again. So one, two, three, chain one, skip one stitch, single crochet, next three. So again, one, two, three. I'm going to repeat that all the way down. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just skip the one stitch. I'm going to put my hook in this next stitch right here. And then I'm going to do two single crochets in that one stitch so I can make the corner. So now I'm going to finish the bottom edge. So what I'm going to do for the bottom edge is I'm going to do one single crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then a double crochet in the next stitch. Now I'm going to chain one. And you see there's, when you turn this over, you've got this little back bump right here. So I'm going to just slip stitch into that back bump. And sometimes it can be a little bit hard to work into, so you might want to try to do it loose. So I've got that back bump, and I'm just going to slip stitch into that. And now I'm going to go into the next stitch and do one double crochet in the next stitch. I'm going to do a half double crochet in the next and then a single crochet in the next and now I'm going to repeat that pattern all the way down so single crochet in the next half double crochet in the next one double crochet in the next one and again I'm going to chain one see I'm trying to do it loose this time and then I'm going to work into that back bump so if you turn it over you see there's a bump right here in the back so I'm going to work into that back bump. I'm just going to slip stitch into that back bump. Then I'm going to double crochet again in the next stitch, half double crochet in the one after that, and then single crochet, then repeat. So again, just repeating that all the way down.
And again, I'm just continuing this all the way down to the end. So I'm in that last stitch, so I made one half double crochet, and I'm just going to make a single crochet to make that corner. So now we're going to turn again. And so when I made the um, single crochet on the other side, so and I made those little holes on the other side, so I'm going to try to match what I did with this side. So here you have, where you can see you have the little hole there, and then you have the one, two, three double crochets, and then you have another little hole right here, and then you have that corner stitch. So I'm going to make a one chain, and then I'm going to do skip one stitch, and then I'm going to do a single crochet there. That way I can match the other side. So I'm going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches. And I'm going to chain one. I'm going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches. And chain one. And then again, repeat that. One single crochet in the next three stitches. Chain one. And just repeat that pattern again all the way down. So again, I'm just doing the same thing now. So one, two, three, and I'm working in the side of that first stitch. I'm going to skip one, and then I'm going to skip these two actually, because I'm going to make two single crochets by the top, and then I'm going to slip stitch into that first one that I made, and I'm going to cut my yarn now. So then after you're finished with one, then you go to the next one and just repeat that process for your next one. And then after that, we're going to um, tie in all of our ends and um, some of them, like this one's kind of came out this way, so we want to draw it back that direction. And so we're going to tie in all of our ends and um, then we're going to do some chain stitches. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to make a um, chain, and this chain is just going to be long enough to fit around my waist and tie. So I'm just going to start off making a chain, and again, it's just a chain and that's it, and it's just going to be long enough to fit around my waist. And again, that's kind of whatever you're comfortable with, so just make it long enough for you to fit around your waist and tie. It may be... I don't know, it may take me 150, it may take me more than that, but that's okay. So after you chain enough for it fits around your waist and it ties, then we're going to make a couple of more chains to go down each side. And um, this will give you a lot of room to play with if you want it open a little more, if you want it closed a little more, if you want to open it different areas a bit more. And then I'm going to do this one around the waist, um, green, but then I don't know what I'm going to do with the sides. I may make the sides black or white, probably not white because Honestly, with us, white gets dirty very, very easily, so I'll probably do the sides black. I think that would look really, really cool. So after I get done with this, I am going to uh, meet you back here. Okay, so I finished my green, and so now I'm going to start on a black. So this one I'm going to count. I didn't count the green, but this one I'm going to count because I'm going to make two of them. So one for each side, and... Um, I'm probably going to do 175, I think. So, again, you're going to make two of the ones that go down each side. And um, you can choose any color that you want. I'm just choosing black. So, I'm just, again, making a chain. And I'm going to make it till it is 175 chains long. And when I'm done, I will see you back here, guys. Alright, so now that I've got both sides completely done, um, I've got all my chains made, so 
all of that done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to line them up together. So let me see if I can line Can I move out any? No, I can't. All right, so here I've got them lined up together. So I'm just going to actually do this right here with it. So open it up some. And I'm going to start at the top. And um, I'm going to find those chain two spaces. So starting at this first chain two space, I'm just going to put my chain here all the way through one end and then I'm going to do the other side so let me find that first chain two spot on this other side is it there one two it looks like it's here so let me just put that through right there All right, so now I need to make sure these are lined up and even. So adjust them so they're the same on each side, basically, is what I'm doing now. So I need them to be both the same length on this side. So let's, there we go. So now they're the same length on both sides. So now I'm just gonna kind of crisscross them, weave them in and out. So there's one, two, three looks like uh, there's my next th chain one space right here so let's put this one I'm going under and then over. Oh, then it comes out like over like this right here and I'm not doing it super super tight I'm going to tighten it in a minute when I'm done three and then I should have my chain space so all right got that there and then I'm going to do this side again so there's two three and here is my chain space right here so again I'm just going to weave that in I'm going to go back and forth doing the same thing All right, so now I've weaved it in pretty much to the end. I didn't go all the way to the end on the first one, so I'm not gonna go all the way to the end on this one. And I want the top part tighter here, so I'm just gonna tighten these up a little bit. And then I want the bottom part a bit looser. So let's So I'm going to just tie it like this right here. So the top part is tighter and the bottom part is looser. So I have done both sides now. So here you see one side and then the other side and of course this is going to be down the sides of the leg so now here I'm going to turn it over I'm going to put kind of a drawstring in the middle there so I'm just going to work and I'm going to work in these stitches right here now you just you have to pull it in and out so I'm just going to grab my crochet hook go in the back and pull this through here it shouldn't be too horribly hard to do it I'm going to leave a little room for that there and then I'm just going to kind of 
work it in and out here and I'm probably going to have to have the crochet hook to do this and I've done it basically the second stitch down so and I could have done like a chain one and then worked it in like that but I decided to do it this way instead So I'm going to weave it in this end right here. So I'm just going to pull it through this end here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to do it from the back side here. And I'm just going to pull it in that end right here. So again on this side, I'm going to go ahead and go through this end right here. And then I'm going to go through this end right here. Alright, so now we can tighten this up as much as we need to so it fits us correctly. Here's the little ends here. So I'm loving this. I think it's looking super, super cute. I hope you guys enjoyed making this with me. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to my channel everyone. Happy hooking everyone!